Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. How the hunk are you today? <laughs> I hope you're doing good. All right. Well, I've got uh, a little uh, something different today, but uh, Roverland is all about everything and anything Rover. And uh, I just picked these up not uh, too long ago at an uh, event that I go to and help work at uh, with Fanny Freckles at uh, Mississippi Mayhem. That's uh, West Salem uh, County Fairgrounds there in Wisconsin. And uh, I got a buddy over there. He's a swap meet guy. And uh, what happens is it's, it's in September. And uh, I collect uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I buy cars, you know, I, I go to Goodwill or wherever, and I buy bags of cars that got rovers in them. So I got a whole bunch of uh, loose stuff that is not Land Rover related. And so I put them in a box, and I, throughout the year, try to uh, sell them. You know, I pick up stuff for a good price, and if they don't sell, well, I take them over to Top Hat. Yeah, and he... Uh, takes them off my hands, all the non-Land Rover stuff, and uh, he uh, does a special deal for the kids and uh, foot traffic for his booth that he goes to. So this year, I had a box, about 100 cars that I just didn't get rid of throughout the year, and I was sick of them hanging around, and uh, I know that I could go to him, and I uh, got some books from him. Uh, I believe I got a book last year from him, too. And uh, so uh, this year I got two books from him. And uh, so, yeah, that worked out pretty good. So uh, I don't know if we're going to really be able to see too much of uh, this book, but uh, we're going to try anyway, see if we can get a better, better view of it. But uh, so right away, uh, these are uh, beautiful, nice uh, paperback books. They're both about the same size. And uh, they come from... Brooklyn's books and uh, just kind of a neat book. I've, I've, I'm familiar with these uh, these uh, Brooklyn Brooklyn's books. Uh, I've got a couple of them in my collection that I haven't quite moved uh, from my last place to my new place here, but uh, just kind of a neat neat books. So this is a Range Rover Gold Profile, 1970 to 1985. And, uh, you know, road tests, uh, new model introductions, long-term, and just all kinds of stuff in there. A couple of different neat variations. I really could not find uh, when this was published, but uh, I'm sure you can uh, just Google it. They've got tons of other things that, uh, you know, uh, books and um, other, um, not just Land Rover related. Uh, so just really kind of neat. And I like to look at these because a lot of them, they have, uh, uh, um, newspaper articles. And, uh, this is kind of some of this neat stuff. And I try to get to a copier and I can make these blow them up and put them up in my room, you know, just for my own personal amusement and stuff like that. But it's just kind of neat. They're just got all kinds of neat photographs and, uh, you know, and then they do, uh, articles and things like that. Uh, so it's just a really kind of neat glimpse. Now, on the onset here, uh, 1970, you know, we didn't get the two doors, uh, North America. If we did, just a very few. I would love to own uh, the uh, 1970 two-door Range Rover. I'd, I'd just love to get my hands on one of these. Uh, what we got in North America was the four-door right away. So uh, I'd like to have a two-door because they, they just, I don't know. I like them a little bit better, probably because they're they're rare. But they this is uh, gives you pictures of the insides. You know, there's uh, different uh, you know uh, charts and things like that of what's going on. So this is just a really cool book. Um, I really uh, appreciative to have it. You know, uh, just different articles, just all kinds of neat stuff. So this is kind of one of my things. Uh, here you go. Yeah, look at that customized Ferguson formula. Wow. But anyway, yeah, so this is just kind of one of the things that I collect also in my uh, Land Rover collection. I've got a small collection and, and uh, if you guys like, yeah, we'll, we'll do more of it. Uh, you know, 
uh, uh, speckled and on through uh, the uh, the Robo Channel uh, through time. I know I've got a couple of these books. Uh, I couldn't tell you which ones for sure, but like I say, I've got a couple of them. So that's the Range Rover Gold Profile uh, portfolio, excuse me. And then this is uh, Range Rover 1970 uh, to 1981. I like that. That's a pretty neat rendition there. But uh, yeah, just a, a really neat book there too. Uh, once again, uh, you know, you guys, I, I really didn't, couldn't find in these where, when they were published, but they've got articles, you know, dating all the way to 81, all the way back to, to 1970. Uh, so it's just kind of neat kind of to see kind of the, uh, how they, how they reacted back then to them. Oh yeah. So it, it's really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. So, uh. Yeah, just pictures. I really like this stuff. It, it just gives you a glimpse. Look at this baby right here. I thought, I, I just, interesting. It's a convertible in the Sahara Desert. Yeah, customized. And I wanna make a, a scale model of one of them. I don't know what scale, if it'd be a matchbox or a larger scale, but I'd really like to make a larger uh, scale of that. It's it just, cool little article you know the pictures are kind of you know well they're all black and white but i think uh might have enough information on there where i could make a, a scale model of that bugger that's really kind of neat i i can't collect all of the real things but i can collect pretty much all of the little ones or make custom ones that are really kind of unique you know but uh you know it's got diagrams and broche you know specs on all this stuff you know of course they're uh, UK, you know, uh, European specs, but just kind of really neat. I just, I just love it. And, uh, they do a really good job. This is not, uh, an official Land Rover, uh, production. Here's more doors, less fuel. Look at that bugger. Oh yeah. There's a couple more customs I got to make. What is that? Is that a Hearst or something? Look at the front end on that. That's kind of unique. But anyway, yeah, uh, so there you go. There you have it. Just a quick look at some of the finds that I found uh, over at Mississippi Mayhem. Uh, check that out. <laughs> it's another shameless self-promotion. But this is just uh, take a look at some of the brochures uh, that I just picked up here for the collection on Roverland. All right, well, I'd like to hear what you've got in your collection. Uh, do you like collecting books or are you just, or are you just a die-cast collector? Uh, do you collect old advertising? What do you like collecting? Please comment below and uh, let me know. Share it on uh, Instagram at Roverland Channel or on Facebook. Or on Facebook at Roverland. Yeah, check it out. Thanks a lot. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.